live at five. It's offer review. And um, yeah, I played Nova. And my goal for today on stream, and I played the event for about two hours, uh, was to get a four star Nova, which was get like 1.35 million points. And I was unsuccessful at doing that. And we're going to talk about it because there are some posts on Reddit, and I do have some suggestions that might help some people with some specific nodes, but most of the complaints on Reddit, rightfully so, are about um, node six and 10. And I experienced a lot of these issues personally myself. That being said, before we talk about is like, I, I feel like there's two extremes uh, as far as where the difficulty should be. Like uh, there's Dark Dimension three difficulty, which I think they should never do ever, ever, ever again. And then there's also events where you just press auto and you win. And in my opinion, both of those things are nearly equally as bad. Like I don't enjoy pressing auto and I don't like things that are unfun. Uh, and for me, this uh, Nova Scourge event, uh, it's, it's the first day. We've been playing it for like three, four hours right now. And it seems challenging. I don't think I've got it figured out. I have figured out certain things. And I think that maybe uh, it won't be as challenging or as overwhelming by the time we get to the event. But I actually do enjoy that it is not just press auto and, and do it. Nova Trials Mission 6. Scopely, what the hell were you thinking of a challenge for the love of God? Come on. So there's a severe problem with this node. Uh, and mostly that has to do with the double gambits. And so I would, I'll tell you how I was able to get through it. Uh, I had to enable this biocharged I'll bio character spawn with full speed and ability bars. And then when I load into the node, uh, basically this is going to affect uh, Moonstone and Titania. And I had to load into the node until Moonstone went first. So if Titania goes first, it doesn't work. And then with Moonstone, you're able to stun with both her special and... Well, I also had the Cosmic Crucible one enabled. I guess that's important to mention also that I had the Cosmic Crucible one. So the Cosmic Crucible effects are enabled. Uh, there were some other ones, but basically uh, I had to have those things enabled. And then she had to go first. And then I was able to stun the, the, the gambits and get through it. So I think it's this little tricks like that is how it's going to be. And once the puzzle is cracked, it, it may not seem as challenging uh, once we know how to do it. Now, on the other hand, Apocalypse on Nova Trials Node 10. Good luck, everyone who didn't spend a fortune on the newest teams. Node 10 has all the horsemen plus Apocalypse on top of that. And yeah, so I was going through the node and Apocalypse showed up. Uh, I got everybody dead and I was down to just Apocalypse. And he blew up my entire team. There was one member left on the field and they bled out. I immediately paused it. I immediately force closed the app and I came back in and they were all dead. And literally going back into that node with X Factor and Absorbing Man could do nothing against Apocalypse. And I and I, I just want to say that they're they're ridiculously hard. Uh, but I, in all fairness, I feel like Scopely did warn us to participate in the legendary event on Lock Nova. You need to be a player level 50 on uh, and have at least five characters in any combination of the following. But let's get real nerd. If you didn't wail for Master of Evil, get fucked. I think that's a. I remember. I remember. It seems legit. Seems legit. Um. <laughs> It sounds legit. Uh, that is the, real, the the reality of the situation is, is that it is about Masters of Evil. I I, I don't see X Factor uh, being meaningful and I am not going to be upgrading my X Factor to get through this event. I am willing to upgrade my Masters of Evil, but I, I feel like they did absolutely nothing. In fact, Apocalypse was healing for more when he counterattacked than the damage they were doing and he was like invincible. I'm surprised. I, I'm surprised that this hasn't happened yet where people are putting healer ISO on Apocalypse. That seems like, it, I, I, I don't, I haven't tried it. I haven't tested it, but that seems like that would be super annoying when he counterattacks and he just heals for more than damage you're doing. Uh, I know that I fought a big boy Apocalypse inside of one of the rounds in Cosmic Crucible 
and I think it was room one, and my gamma almost could not beat him. Uh, my very large gamma could not beat Apocalypse, a big boy Apocalypse. So it is a thing. And nodes six and 10 are, be, are ridiculously hard. And I'm gonna upload that video. It's just raw gameplay footage. Uh, and I actually did not, I was unsuccessful and I ended up losing at the end, but I think it's worth looking at if you wanna dig into it. Nodes six and 10 are ridiculously hard. Man, it's bad enough that we have to use Masters of Evil or X-Factors, but these nodes suck. The Dumble Gambit in six is stupid. I, I agree. And that was the only, the way that I described is the only way that I was able to get through it. And you have to bring in Absorbing Man if you don't want your Loki to delete your team. Then Rogue drops in and no 10 is absurd. Hey, you know what would be a great idea? I'd put every Horseman character in one room scopely. That's insane. Uh, you have one team or two to be four separate Horsemen teams with Apocalypse. If you built MOE, Masters of Evil, you're, you're fine, I guess. Actually, I feel like that is the truth. If you built Master of Evil, you're fine, I guess. I, I think that's a good assessment. Um, I wouldn't know, I, as I didn't unlock King, I can't beat it. I, I feel like this is um, true also. Sorry if this rant is long. Does anyone know how to beat room 10? I'm losing my mind. So a um, couple things, like I, I feel like, like me myself, like I wasn't able to get the four star, but I was able to unlock a three star. And I think that's a good start. Uh, I I think that if a large percentage of the community was not able to get a three star, uh, then they should voice their complaints because I think getting a three star is reasonable and 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 people should be able to do that. And if the barrier to entry is too high, and I'm gonna have to do some polls on this and find out what percentage of the community was able to get three star, I was able to do it, uh, but I'm I, I haven't run a poll yet, and then uh, we'll take it from there, and then then we can make an assessment if it's too difficult or not. Uh, Mephisto is in the Nova event, so uh, I know Tana's made some video about this, and they're actually the character models in there, and we've seen the data mines. And my take is that uh, Mephisto is not like, it'd be like Mojo. I, I think he's going to be the next Apocalypse, and we're going to have something similar to the Apocalypse year-long event, and I guess that is going to be Mephisto. Now, there was a blog post about Gear Tier 18, and, um, dude, it's expensive and you need like 22 of each piece, uh, to upgrade certain parts and certain characters need more than others. Uh, and they cost 400,000. I think it's like 200,000 each. Give us more gold perhaps. And I, I've, I, I talked about this at length on it with my Valley flying today. Um, you know, this is, it's just like these dark dimensions don't just happen by accident. Um, they really don't like you have to be deliberate in knowing what teams you want to do, what characters you want to do, how many pieces um, on which character is this character better because they need less pieces. And it is extremely um, fun, in my opinion, to plan for this. And so there's a lot of unknowns in, and mostly most of this planning can't be done until the, the, the early Krakens go through and do it. And we can see how, what teams work and what's going to be the way to do it. But in the meantime, uh, we have limited opportunities to get this gear tier 18 and it looks like that the stat increases on gear tier 18 are going to be a bit scary so one of the they they kind of outlined uh here in this post on where you can get uh these pieces we'll just read this real quick um the the road to anticipation dark dimension we get six begins with the upcoming release of gear tier 18 next level of gear is something special and change the game in exciting ways and they're in exciting ways and they're not kidding uh in creating the next level of gear the dev team reflected the player experience of upgrading previous gear tiers we wanted to ensure gear 18 feels truly impactful to players so when a character crosses the threshold from 17 18 you'll see a significant this is not a joke significant stat increase compared to the previous gear tiers in some cases the contribution of gear tier 18 makes the overall power of some characters could be nearly double compared to other gear tiers and the last time that we had something like this was the jump between 13 and 14 uh, they're telling us it's significant the video basically is just that showing the the boost historically stat increase in the final stage of progressing to the next level is minimal with gear tier 18 a significant portion of the new power come after equipping the final piece and the next level upgrade and look at these stat increases specifically the damage holy moly um now i don't know what kind of impact this is going to have on everybody like uh i i know that me personally i do play up against some of the largest accounts in the game not only in war uh but arena and cosmic crucible and uh, every person will have a different level of engagement with players like that 
and it looks like this is going to be a significant boost and keep in mind you know like gear to um dark dimension 5 dark dimension 4 uh the people that unlocked uh, apocalypse early um there was a, a considerable price i mean uh i remember somebody saying he's like i could have bought a car for the amount of money that i spent to get into dark dimension five first and literally what these people are doing and uh, and this is absurd is you know they're going into the supply store and they're hitting the refreshes and these refreshes scale up you know eventually they go to 100 then 200 then 400 800 1600 3200 and i've heard uh like with dark dimension six people were spending like 300 dollars a day refreshing these stores just to pick up these pieces, right? And you can see I bought that right there, augmented ritual salts, and you know, it costs 400,000 for two pieces, right? So it's bonkers, like I, I, somebody else is gonna do it, right? And I'm just gonna have to trust and hope that there will be other ways of getting, uh, you know, and, and to what extent, of course, remains to be seen, um, just like um, the other Dark Dimensions. In a lot of ways, I don't think this is really different than Dark Dimension 5 or Dark Dimension 4. It, it, it's the same. The difference is that getting to gear tier 18 is kind of a big deal. These stat increases are huge. Uh, let's read a little bit more. When gear tier goes live, you can preview the stats, increase any character or see by visiting the character page. It's actually in game right now. I choose a character, select their gears and stats, and preview the gear tier inspector of the stats. We're thrilled to announce the release of Gear Chair is currently scheduled. It already happened today, uh, a couple hours ago. You see Gear Chair in the supply section of the store, rewards for upcoming limited or time events. And I feel like there's going to be some outrage if this goes down the leaderboards, the auction route. Uh, I suspect that's where they're going to do. Why would they you know, charge people $100 times 10? We're going to look at an offer like that when people will spend a lot more just because it's an auction, right? Through forthcoming incursion raids, we'll have to see how that plays out. Enhancing your roster gear chain is intended to be an epic journey, but will feel more rewarding with each character you upgrade. So, uh, something I just want to point out, in the past, in other Dark Dimensions, uh, there was always this idea of taking a cheaper costing character as far as gear uh, that was ineffective in many game modes just to get through it faster. And I think the best example that I can remember was um, the soldier, um, shield, uh, uh, shield, secu shield soldier, right? Or whatever. I don't, I, the, 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 the minion, right? Um, and shield trooper, my bad. I couldn't even, my brain drew a blank shield trooper. Right. And I don't think you're going to want to do that. I really don't like, uh, you know, I think it's, it's going to be this game of what character is good and mini game modes and is efficient in getting you through dark dimension six and you can actually beat the nodes is going to be the winners and so hopefully hopefully we're able to identify those uh but right now there's really nothing to do other than um buy these pieces i guess i mean this is kind of like i feel like i could be using this gold upgrading characters and, and and I just want to point out, upgrading characters is expensive, right? And it's, you know, Christ is expensive, but also it's impactful. Uh, going from level 94 to level 95, um, which costs almost a million gold, this is a significant boost, like, on that final level. And uh, it kind of kills me or pains me to know that I'm going to be buying these instead of upgrading characters, perhaps. And, you know, so it's like I, I'm going to have to make a decision. Do, how important is Dark Dimension... Uh, six and getting these pieces and I don't know which pieces are going to need but I'm going to need a, a billion of them right and I don't know how readily available they're going to be other game modes or do I take that gold and upgrade characters I don't know the answer to this question uh, I just know that that dark dimensions in the past dark dimension five do not happen on accident at all uh, let's get the rest of the through the rest of the offer review uh, run omega red again uh, yeah they've 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 not run omega red in a long time uh, the Cosmic Crucible percent rewards are pathetic. And this is kind of a little bit off-putting uh, for me. And I talked about this at length yesterday, so I'm not going to get into it too much. But, you know, I, I find Cosmic Crucible fun, and it would be nice if the rewards matched the effort. Uh, specifically, there are people that don't really like Cosmic Crucible, and I and it would be nice if they felt like the, at least the rewards were worth it. Uh, but this felt like a big letdown for a lot of people. So can we get some communication why we got compensation 
that did the do the vent and others didn't same thing right here any update on those 1.8 million t2l5 irons that we should have gotten in the vader's compensation I, I don't know what they're doing on this get rid of the auto raid cap that's a thing that they should do for sure and then the raid store needs an overhaul and i i do agree with this and um they finally added icarus but i think part of the problem is going to be with like players like me that have 1.63 million so i don't know what a good solution is uh they certainly are going to give away free gold or free gear that's important uh so i mean i i don't know if they have a plan i feel like largely the raid stores are been neglected and if they would have kept it up uh players like myself and other players too a lot of people have a lot of raid credits um you know if they if they would have addressed it earlier before this currency spiraled out of control it wouldn't have been gotten to the point where we are today um okay offers so this is the orb that we're getting and i believe like i was able to open up two of these today i didn't get anything as far as gear tier 18 a lot of people uh, did get pieces from these orbs uh i've had a couple of heavy spenders tell me that they bought this and it was not a boatload of gear tier 18. so uh, this is a part of the price to entry to be first into dark dimension six i mentioned people might be refreshing the store you know up to 300 dollars a day well here's a way of spending a thousand dollars you know if, if the people that are gonna be first into dark dimension six are gonna be buying this this is it's very expensive. If you want to be first in this game on something like Dark Dimension, it's expensive. And this is part of the cost. I have little to no interest in this, and I don't believe it's a good value at all. I'm certain it's not a good value. Uh, this seems reasonable enough. They've really dropped the price on uh, Elite Sixes. Uh, these used to be like the, the anchor pricing. You make you feel good when it's lower. It used to be $75. So uh, that's I'm not going to buy that. Uh, then there's also an event running right now. So if you want, if you need some, and there's all, um, if you want 6,000, 6, 600 energy, silver promotion credits, largely uh, for a lot of people, this is not that important since they've shifted, started shifting things to dark promotion credits. Also right now, and this is also five red stars. Also right now, um, 10X is running. So if you're holding on to your, um, your, your red stars and you wait for there's 10x go and go, always double check when you're watching a video go make and see if it's 10x and if it is uh that's when i open my red star orbs is when it's 10x dark promotion credits because that was basically all i really need out of there's elite fours and dark promotion credits rarely do i get an upgrade and then we talked about this offer yesterday this is a signal that gear tier 18 is here and a lot of people have said you know well what I really need, I don't need gear tier 18. What I really need is better access to gear tier 16. Uh, this is the best price that they've sold gear tier 16 orbs. There's almost 100 of them here. And then there's also a significant amount of gear tier 17. And then this is also a very important piece uh, for getting, let's say, like Psylocke to uh, gear tier 17, which he's required to get a big boy apocalypse. So um, just like orange gear is readily available for most players uh there was a similar pattern where orange gear was scarce they introduced gear tier 17 let's say and then they had an offer like this and then a month or a little bit more than a month later then then they started to make orange gear more available so i i believe this is a signal of two things that they're going to start making gear tier 16 more available maybe like a month from now or something like that and that gear tier 18 is so uh, this is a good value. I might buy this. I'm not really sure. I wish this offer was here a little bit longer, but it, I, what I really need more than anything else is gold. Um, also, it feels like to me that the Nova event largely is about Masters of Evil and Kang is the most impactful character on that team. This is not a great deal, but the, you know this will help people do what you got to do. Uh, same thing here for Moonstone. She's also very important. Uh, also, Nova... Uh, when you if you unlock nova like at three stars you'll get these gold offers there's one for thirty dollars which is right here which is better than the normal gold offers but it's nothing special and then there's a ten dollar and actually somebody bought this for me so i already bought one of these so let me know what you think about all of this um i am i actually can and i, I gotta give scopely credit to, to when i can i actually had fun today i played the nova event for about two hours and i didn't hate it i actually had fun like i felt like i had two hours of satisfaction from this game and 
I talked about this a lot yesterday. I, I, I you know, I got to take the good with the when I can, and I had I had fun. I had fun today. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Maybe you didn't, but I did. Anyways, let me know what you think. And as always, thanks for watching. Keep on gaming. Bye for now. Are you scared? I'm not scared. I have no idea what this song is about. <laughs>